Hello there guys and welcome to Daily Updates. Yesterday was the State of the Nation which was addressed by the President of South Africa, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. Of course, the same as the previous one that we have had, it was filled with a lot of promises. He was selling us dreams most of the times and we had to enjoy and listen to those dreams being sold to us, especially the one by Tinzualu. But anyway, before we unpack what happened yesterday, let us look at this moment between the President of South Africa and the Grammy winner, Tyler. I've been enjoying water so much. I've even to, I, to, I was telling people that I've memorized it. And, uh, and uh, they, they, they were so envious. They were saying I should show the moves and the dance. And uh, I just said, no, I'll just show you a little bit. I will show you the full dance when uh, Tyler is back and I can dance with her. <laughs> And now the world is your oyster. Go out and conquer the world on our behalf. Yeah. Well done. Thank you so, so much. Well done, Tyler. It's so nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you too. Uh, and I look forward to meeting you face to face one day. So before the address by the president, most of the political leaders were being interviewed and one interview that caught my eye was Tara Lukota speaking about uh, President Ramaphosa, about their past when they were in the struggle, when they, we, they were in university and how Ramaphosa sold him out. Please listen to this video. You know, when we were invited by Steve Beagle to go and fight for freedom, to make sure that our people have a better future. You were at university with me, we went together we, we, to join this thing. But when I, we got arrested and we were, the police had us under, under, in, in Pretoria prison, you wrote a statement to the police to say that I put communist ideas in your head. You really sold me down the thing. Mm. And I went to jail alone and you, you, you went back. So it is becoming evident that none of the freedom fighters the people who were in the struggle believe in the current president. Most of them seems like they have stories of uh, saying that they don't believe in him, that he's not someone who could be trusted, because a lot has been said by some people saying that they don't trust the president. I mean, put the struggles aside. Currently, most of the people do not believe in the president and what he has to say and how he's really running the show. They don't believe in him. They feel like he is betraying the black child. As you can see, most of the leaders in the past and currently they have been talking and saying that he's actually becoming the worst president that we've had in South Africa post-apartheid. That the worst is behind us and the end of load shedding is finally within reach. One of the key factors of his address was speaking about load shedding and saying that load shedding will really be a thing of the past. They are really working on it to be a thing of the past. They are going to stop load shedding for good. Now, moments after, hours after he's been speaking about load shedding, ESCOM announces stage 4 load shedding. We are no longer in stage 2, stage 3. We are now in stage 4 load shedding. I mean, how can this happen? It's not a coincidence that Ramaphosa can speak and say that it could be a thing of the past. It should be a thing of the past. Moments later, Eskom says, well, who told you that? Because we are moving to the new stage, stage four. So we are going to a higher stage when we are being told that they are working on it and it's going to be a thing of the past. And to be honest, it looks like it's never going to be a thing of the past. They can tell us whatever they want. Eskom seems like it's going to be giving us load sharing for a long, long time. So when we are being told like last year that load sharing would be ending in December, they are working to end it in December. We go into February. We have been told that well, load sharing will be a thing of the past and we are still experiencing these problems, these power cuts. We should really know as South Africans that whatever we have been told about load sharing is just lies. 
Now, when the president continues, he now starts speaking about the dream of Tinsualo. And if you are not careful enough, you'd think really there is someone called Tinsualo who the president is speaking about and everything he's speaking about affects. It is not. Tinsualo is a campaign for the ANC for 2024 election. And it is about time as people of South Africa, we realize that the same message we are hearing about Tinsualo it is the same message we were told about the smart city, which today we are still wondering, what is it that smart city has been speaking about? What is that bullet train that we've been promised? Now we have been given a picture. He's becoming Picasso and painting a picture of Tinsualo, telling us about how the ANC has fought for this freedom, how the ANC has made sure that the education is becoming free, how they've made sure that they are giving Tinsualo all the benefits so that Tinsualo can become who she is today. Well, he, she is one in a million that Tinsualo is speaking about because the Tinsualo we are seeing in South Africa are the Tinsualos who went to school and are staying and working the jobs that they are getting paid little. Some are staying at home waiting to get that job, applying and not getting the, those opportunities. That Tinsualo is staying at home because the ANC decided to use the money for corruption. The money that was supposed to be given to the people of South Africa, to the many Tinsualos. Now, as the people of South Africa standing there listening to the Tinsualo, we really have to wonder, are we really in a country that cares about the people of South Africa, where the president goes on the state of the nation and just narrate to us a dream that we know that there is no reality to that. As the people of South Africa, we must really sit down and wonder, are we really in a country that cares about the, the needs of South Africans? The youth, the youth unemployment is, is skyrocketing, but Tinsolo is really someone who is enjoying the fruits of ANC. Then if really that is what the, pa the painting is telling us, then the many Tinsolos who are not working the many Tinsolos who are sitting at home, the many Tinsolos who are complaining should really be voting against the ANC because those are not the Tinsolos the president is speaking about. In a nutshell, the whole SONA address, State of the Nation address by the president is really a campaign for the ANC. And if we are really listening and watching, of course we know that there would be another State of the Nation this year after the election, but we really should be worried about the president going on the platform and not really thinking about what needs to change in South Africa. He's not in tune with the reality. And what he's not in tune with is the problem that we are facing. Instead of facing and addressing those problems, he's making sure that he's promising us, knowing that if he gives, that, uh, if he gives us a picture, we are definitely going to think about Tinsualo when we vote comes the election day. We are still not having that election date that is promising us. We are almost going towards the end of February, but we still don't know when we are voting. Tinsualo still doesn't know when she's voting. But Tinsualo has that belief in the president that this is the president that we were promised. When Zuma said that when the ANC lose, that will be the time Jesus comes. Well, we don't know. Maybe that is the time. But if you are Tinsolo waiting there, listening to your name being mentioned, just know that they are using you just for popularity, for campaigns. If I was you, Tinsolo, I would really go there and sue because my name is being used in vain. Tinsolo, that is just a painting, that is just a picture that was painted. You are never going to be in that movie that Ramaphosa is speaking about. Anyway, guys, I feel like we have been told so many lies have been promised and nothing will ever change. The ballot paper is the only thing that can change whatever that you are feeling. Thank you for tuning into the channel. And if you can, guys, you can just become a member just for five rand a month, helping the channel grow. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning into the channel. And until next time, cheers.